Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström from Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about Microsoft Forms, which is a new platform for you to create surveys or quizzes, or of course, any kind of data entry. It is a rather simple platform with not a whole lot of flexibility, but it's intended for everybody to be able to create their forms and collect their data very, very easily. So what you can do is create forms and quizzes. And the difference is that a quiz has a prepared answer and you can get points for answering correctly and those kind of things. But let's start with the form and we're gonna do a SharePoint usability survey. This particular survey could just as easily have been done with a SharePoint survey, but um, as you will see, this is a lot more user-friendly and a lot more mobile-friendly than a survey. So we're gonna add questions. That's what we have in a survey, of course. And the first thing you get to choose is which kind of response are you looking for? Choice, text, rating, date, or ranking, or Likert. Likert is the most survey-like one. So I'm gonna choose that one. And um, then just add my question here. How, how do you feel about our internet? And then I can add an image or even a video there, as you saw, and I'll just search for internet. That one looks beautiful. I'm gonna add that one to my survey and then check in the options. And the options are bad. I'll start with the low ones there, meh, and fantastic. Those are the options. And then the statements that I wanna have people's reaction to is look and feel, discoverability, and then the final one, usability. And then I'm going to make this required, so they need to answer that question. And then I'm going to add another question. And that's going to be a choice. What kind of SharePoint user are you? And the options are, of course, the user, developer, and another option is, of course, an admin. In this case, you can have multiple answers. And this is required also. All right, that concludes my little survey there. And I'm just gonna see how this looks now. And I can do this here by doing preview. And as you see, this is how it looks on the computer. And here I can answer like that. And then I'm gonna say that I'm all three of these. And then you submit the result. So now that's how it works. And let's just look again at how it looks uh, on a mobile. And there you see it looks rather nice on a mobile also. So uh, let's go back to the forms. So let's um, share this now. Just copy that link. I have that copied. And let's open that in another browser. Let's open it in Chrome. Let's open that link there. And now let's go into that. And as you see, it's noticing that I'm logged in as Antonio in Chrome here. And then I can just give my answers there and say Antonio is actually just a user. Your response was submitted. And you can submit another response or create your own form. Let's go back to my forms. And here's my one response. I didn't even have to refresh. And here I can see the results in a nice graphical interface. I can open this result in, in Excel. You'll notice that it opens it as an Excel file. It's not IQY file. This is not a linked result. I cannot up, um, update this. As you see, if I go into table here, there's the refresh does not work. Normally, when you export a list from SharePoint into Excel, yeah, you can update it, but that is not the case here. This is an export of the data, not a linking of the data. But as you see, the results are rather nice. And um, I can even go into more details to see like that. Final thing is that I want to show you. There are a few more things. Let's go into the forms again. There I can see my SharePoint usability uh, survey. I'm going to make a quiz also, SharePoint knowledge quiz, so that we can test how much people know about SharePoint. And then we will do a plain text question here, which for a company builds SharePoint. And I'm going to enter an answer. It could be Microsoft. 
or I can actually add another correct answer. And that will allow the user to enter either Microsoft or MS. And either of those will give the number of points I've awarded. So five points. Uh, and this is, of course, required also. I'm going to add another question there, which is the latest version of SharePoint on premise. And the versions here is 2010, 2013, and 2016. And the correct answer, of course, is 2016. That's another five point. And if I allow multiple answers here, I could actually allow that both these are considered the correct one, but that's, of course, not the, the case. So there we go. I'm done with my question, and now it's saved already, and I can go ahead and share this URL. As you see, I can allow only people in my organization to respond or anyone with a link to respond. One thing that you should be aware of, though, that you cannot use this for more than 5,000 responses. So once you have 5,000 responses, then you need to export them to Excel first, clear them, and then you can get more than 5,000. But that's a limitation that you need to be aware of. So let's take this link here, this link. I'm going to show you, copy that link. I'm going to show you another thing that you can do with one of these quizzes, and that is to embed them in a page. So I'm going to add a page. And this, is, of course, is the modern page. Let's just remove the background of that, our internet. And then we'll embed a web part here that shows you a form. So let's embed a Microsoft form there. And that's an existing form. And I'm just going to paste that. And that works, of course, with both a form and a um, quiz that I did here. So I'm going to collect the responses. All right, so let's publish this page now. Let's see how that works. SharePoint knowledge quiz. And here I'm going to write um, Mozilla, which is, of course, the wrong answer. And then I'm going to say that 2016 is the latest on-premise version of SharePoint. And I'm going to submit that. And there you see I got a mistake there. I didn't get any points there, but I got five points for the other one. And here I can also see the correct answers. All right, so that shows you how to build two forms, one form and one uh, quiz, and how to embed them in a page, and also how to export this into Excel, all the different important parts that you can do with Microsoft Forms. Thank you for watching this demonstration.